Tonight, an Alaska Airlines pilot who lives in Pleasant Hill is in jail, accused of attempting to turn off the engines of a passenger jet. Authorities say Joseph Emerson was in the jump seat of a plane from Everett, Washington to San Francisco International when he tried to deploy the engine's fire suppression system and in doing so, cutting fuel to those engines. KTV's Tom Vacar begins our coverage with details of this mid-air scare. An off-duty pilot has been arrested after he reportedly tried to shut down the engines in midair of an SFO-bound flight. The Alaska Airline flight operated by its regional carrier, Horizon Air, was going from Everett, Washington to San Francisco last night when an off-duty pilot, Joseph David Emerson, tried to shut down the engines. Okay, I'll just uh, give you a heads up. We've got the uh, guy that tried to shut the engines down uh, out of the cockpit. Um, and he uh, doesn't sound like he's causing any issue in the back right now. I, I think he's the dude. The off-duty guest pilot was inside the cockpit in what's called the jump seat behind the pilot and co-pilot. Several reports say he tried to pull the fire suppression handle. Now that would arm the fire extinguishing system, shut the engines down, cut off fuel, electricity, hydraulic and pneumatic control systems to the engines. Jim Gray has been training pilots for more than three decades at his company, Oakland Flyers. Yeah, I think it would be very difficult for somebody to come up from the jump seat and really do anything really debilitating to the aircraft. Um, you have two able-bodied pilots in the front seat there. The pilots were able to thwart that effort. The plane diverted to Portland where Emerson was arrested. He could face 83 counts of attempted murder. Such routine use of jump seats allows pilots to ride in the cockpit back to their home base provided that their work shift is over and the jump seat is available. He had a legitimate reason to ride in the cockpit but not interfere with it. Other than that, uh, yeah, we want law enforcement as soon as we get on the ground and park. These days, the only other people allowed to fly in the jump seat are pilots, representatives of the Federal Aviation Administration, the National Transportation Safety Bureau, air traffic controllers, and qualified technicians observing specific equipment. Tom Vacar, KTVU Fox 2 News.